For those that are not across all the breaking news coming out of here in the United Kingdom, I just wanted to update you on the latest regarding His Majesty the King, King Charles III, and exactly where we're at right now. Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the very heart of London. Nice to have your company today as ever. Hope you're keeping well, keep safe, whatever you're doing. For those that say to me at times, Neil, you look exhausted, shattered. I am, because in the other job, of course, we look after politics. And as one can imagine, if you're across any newspaper or indeed looking online, politics is very busy right now over here in the United Kingdom. More so, in fact, now because over at 10 Downing Street, our recent incumbent, none other than the Right Honourable Liz Truss, resigned after 44 days in office. Right. She's in the history books, apparently for being the shortest ever British Prime Minister inside number 10. I feel a little bit sorry for her, as I said before, because what's interesting here is that most of the negative PR has been written by females and, of course, female reporters. I don't know where the sisterhood's gone, girls, but seemingly you're all relishing the fact that this powerful lady, whether you liked her or not, well, she was on the demise, sadly. But of course, Miss Trust does go down in the history books because she was the very final British Prime Minister to be asked to form a government by our late and wonderful monarch, Queen Elizabeth II. As I've told you before, this particular picture now is simply historical. You know, no other words to describe it, really. And of course, now she has, uh, you know, has to go now and resign to His Majesty the King, King Charles III. I have it on very good authority that already, and he's a very kind man, King Charles, he knew what she was going through, has offered his very best wishes. Now, apparently, we will have a brand new Prime Minister and leader of the Conservative Party over here in the United Kingdom within a week. It won't be dragged out like previous things. So, in a week's time, His Majesty the King could once again find himself back in Buckingham Palace asking a brand new British Prime Minister in waiting to form a government. Lots of people are asking, who will it be? Will it be one of the previous forerunners like Rishi Sunak or indeed Peddy Mordaunt? Or the big books are on the return of none other than the Right Honourable Boris Johnson. That's where we're quite at at this moment in time. Incredible, one can't keep up, let me tell you. But as I say, from a royal historical point of view, our late and wonderful monarch actually welcomed in 15 British Prime Ministers, starting with a very much loved and very helpful to her, Winston Churchill, and finishing with the now historical Liz Truss. King Charles picks up the baton. How many British Prime Ministers will he now be welcoming? Neil Sean in the very heart of London.